Humble yourself. Brothers and sisters, do not consider yourself as more important than others. Do not think that you are above each and everything. God has blessed you in that position for a reason. God has decided to bless you for a reason. In fact, God, God blessed you to be a blessing to others. The gift that is in you is not just for a show off. It's not just to show people that you are better than them. It's to be a servant. Remember, God, Jesus, came and became a servant. He served us. He was gifted. Brothers and sisters, remember that you are a body of Christ. Just as your body would have arms, legs, it would have a nose, eyes, and a mouth. Those things have and serve a different purpose. What their eyes can do, the legs can never do it. So you need each other. Just like, like somebody would lose his legs. The body will suffer because the body needs the legs to move. You need legs to move to and fro. To move to, to, to the city, you need legs. So my brothers and sisters, you need your mouth to speak for you. To bring forth ideas. Your legs will never speak for you. So brothers and sisters, you need each other. Just because God appointed you as a prophet, a pastor, an evangelist, it doesn't mean you're better than others. It doesn't mean you're more important than others. God has decided to use you as a vessel. So humble down yourself. If you humble yourself, God will exalt you. Be like David. He humbled down himself. He was a humble man. He was a man after God's own heart. Even after he had committed sin, he humbled himself. He realized that he had done something that is wrong. And he came to, Jesus, he came to God. So my brothers and sisters, in all your ways, humble yourself. Do not be a person that shows pride. Do not be so proud that it blinds your eyes. I know there are some people, you have uh, friends that you grew up with. You used to struggle together. And all of a sudden, God blessed that person with maybe wealth or maybe a better job. And those people that God blessed, they forgot you. They, never, they, they no longer call you. They no longer talk to you. Don't be like them. When God blesses you, which I know God is going to bless you, remember those that you struggled with. Remember how you were poor, how you struggled. When God blesses you with a child, my God, be a blessing to other people. Be a blessing to the homeless. When God blesses you with a spouse, be a blessing to the world because you have a gift in you. You are not here by coincidence. God has a plan for you, brothers and sisters. Today's word is from the book of Luke chapter 14, verse 7 to 14. Luke chapter 14, verse 7 to 14. And it reads, So he told a parable to those who were invited when he noted how they chose the best places, saying to them, When you are invited by anyone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in the best place, lest one more honorable than you be invited by him. And he who invited you and him come and say to you, Give place to this man. And then you begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit down in the lowest place, so that when he who invited you comes, he may say to you, Friend, go up higher. Then you will have glory in the presence of those who sit at the table with you. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Then, his, then he also said to him who invited him, When you go, when you give a dinner or a supper, 
do not ask your friends, your brothers, your relatives, nor the rich neighbors, lest they also invite you back and you be repaid. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you. For you shall be repaid at the resurrection of the just. Glory to God. You shall be repaid at the resurrection of the just. If you do this, you shall be repaid. When you set up a feast, do not just set up a feast for only your brothers, for only your friends, for only your neighbors. Set up a feast for, and for the poor. Invite the poor. Do the work of Jesus Christ. Remember, you are an ambassador of Jesus Christ. Do not say, I do not associate myself with those people. Do not say that those people are too uh, smelly. All those people are, are too bad, are too terrible. Invite them. The gospel is for everyone. Use your wealth to preach the gospel. To spread the good news of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Do your work. The scripture says that God, you will repay you at the resurrection of the just because you are blessed. You have done what is right. I love what the scripture says. It says that uh, for whoever exalts himself will be humbled. And he who humbles himself will be exalted. If you go around exalting yourself, saying you are better than others, going into higher places. When you are invited, you go and sit into higher places. You want people to see you. You want to be in the spotlight. You always want cameras to, to shoot and zoom in on you. You have received your reward there. But it is not the best reward there is. The best reward is the reward that Jesus Christ of Nazareth will give you. Because the reward that God gives you is everlasting. That reward you cannot be compared to the rewards that you will get. So my brothers and sisters, do what is right so that you may receive the reward of the just. Brothers and sisters, do not think that you are more important than others. Do not think it like that. Be humble. And when people see your humility, when people see how humble you are, it will be easy for them to work with you. People love people who are humble. They don't want somebody who's pride, full of pride, who's proud. Remember, destruction comes for the pride. Proud people are proud. The devil was destroyed because of his pride. He was destroyed in his pride, being proud. He thought he was better than others. He thought he was all above. He wanted to be like the most high God. So my brothers and sisters, God does not like somebody who's proud. Be humble and God will exalt you. God will lift you up. God is about to lift up somebody here. God is about to lift you up. God is about to raise you up above your enemies. God is about to raise you up above your situation. Believe in him and he will see you through. Brothers and sisters, I've come to the end of this message. And you can leave your comments in the comment section. Also, if you have found this message to be a blessing to you and you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can do so through PayPal. You can give your offering, your seed, through my PayPal account, which is in the link in the description or in my About section. You can also send me a message. Let me know in your comment sections or through my email address and Facebook page. Until next time, God surely bless you.